Chuck Fresh, the PCGYN. This is Computer Care Clinic's tip of the day. Getting a lot of questions about buying a new HD television. Essentially, all HD TVs are kind of ramped up super computer monitors now. You can plug just about any computer with an HDMI connection into a a large screen TV, and a lot of people didn't realize this and watch content, movies, Netflix, uh, or even compute on them. It's kind of an oversized, crazy screen, but uh, hey, whatever floats your boat. We do it all the time with the kids' programs, and uh, they seem to enjoy that when we have family movie night. So, a um, couple of things you want to look at if you're investing into a new uh, LCD or LED TV. Number one, you want to make sure it's smart. And what smart means is it essentially has a computer built into it. So it gives you a little interface where you can download uh, apps, just like on smartphones, like Netflix. And uh, some of them have uh, a thing called Vudu, which is a movie service by owned by Walmart, has a pretty good selection of movies and a whole bunch of other little apps for news, weather and entertainment that you and even games in some cases that you can download directly to your TV and play on your TV just with your remote control. So you want to make sure that it's smart and which is that'll need mean it needs to be connected to the Internet. So if you have a network, an Ethernet port near your television, that's great. You can plug it directly in and connect it to your home computer network or your Internet service provider. And uh, a lot of the newer ones have wireless Internet, which is very convenient. So if you're not near a spot where you have a cable dropped, you don't have to pay an electrician to come in and drop that cable. You can just connect to your home's wireless network, assuming it's uh, within a reasonable distance away from your wireless router. So first thing, you want to make sure it's smart. Second thing is you've got a bunch of choices to make now. Uh, Not so much in size or brand anymore, but the type that you're going to get. Now, uh, HD was is the uh, the industry leader now, and you can get a 55 inch HD TV for well under seven hundred dollars now. The prices have dropped considerably now that manufacturing is ramped up. But there's a new player. There's a bunch of new players. The main player right now is UHD, or what a lot of people are calling 4Ks which has up to four times the resolution of your HD TVs. Now, this is important because as, uh, well, just like with HD, it took a while for it to roll out. I guess uh, the providers wanted to say, is everybody going to buy one of these things? And yes, they did. And, and before you knew it, within a year or two, everybody had HD content. And now it's rare not to have HD content. But uh, with this 4K thing out, it's supposed to be super HD content. At 4K resolutions, the pixels in a 4K display are so close together, so small, that the human eye can barely distinguish a space between them. And from what I've read, you can't really go much higher than that. This is a... Kind of like the retina display on the apples. You really, if you go above this, you're really not getting any gains in terms of clarity. So uh, 4K is probably as high as it's going to go for a while. So if you're interested in future proofing yourself, you're probably going to want to look at the 4K TVs. Yes, they are a little expensive because they're a little newer. They just started to come out in late 2014, early 2015. But as with HD TVs, as manufacturing ramps up and supply increases, the price will fall. You can get a 4K TV just about at $2,000 now if you find it on sale. Um, but here's the, the other nut. The other innovation that's coming out is something called Super UHD or SUHD or TVs that are using something called Quantum Dot Technology. And what that is, is throw another wrench into things, is a, a, a microscopic uh, crystal that's thrown into the panel. And it's supposed to give you, well, not supposed to, it actually does give you more rich, genuine color and a higher contrast, similar to that that you'd find in an OLED or organic LED display, which uh, has been out for a little while, but it hasn't caught fire because there's some problems in production and getting them big. And uh, also, I understand there might be some reliability issues on the organic display. So... Um, LG is pretty much the only people who are producing one. They have a 55 and a 65 inch. They're very, very expensive. But the OLED uh, displays are probably the clearest display you can get along the lines of plasma, but even better than that. Deeper blacks, richer colors, and uh, they're beautiful. If you haven't seen one, go look at one. But the 4K, the Super H, Super UHD, I'm sorry, but the Quantum Dot technology is supposed to approach 
the level of contrast and richness in colors that you can get in an OLED. Does it match it? Probably not. Would an average user know? Probably wouldn't know the difference if you're an average person. So um, 4K is going to future-proof you. The Super 4K, or whatever they decide to call that with the quantum dot, is going to be even better. It's going to be more clear and uh, a little brighter with some better contrast. And uh, But either way, you're probably going to want to look towards the 4K if you can afford it. Of course, you can just do uh, the regular HD, which is very inexpensive, and shoot for 500 bucks. Maybe you can just throw the thing away in a year or two and everything's 4K. I don't know. People do silly things like that with electronics. It's unfortunate, but that's the way our society is uh, is going. So 4K would be my choice, my recommendation. Uh, the Super UHD or SUHD or Quantum Dot technology, they're called different things by Sony, LG, and Samsung, the leading manufacturers of these televisions. Still a little pricey now. Uh, a big one, a 75-inch we're looking at with this Super UHD is going to be somewhere between $3,500 and $10,000, depending on the technology you get in them. Uh, most of these are, they do have the smart technology built into them. Some of the Samsungs have an external box with the uh, smart TV technology built into them, which you can upgrade um, and swap out if something new comes out. So that's nice. It'll make your menus a little more fuller, a little faster. You know, some of the original smart TVs are very, very painfully slow. When you go to click through things, you have to wait. And um, apparently these things have been resolved with upgrades and external units and plug-in chips and all that kind of stuff. So uh, you can get the latest and greatest technology. Do you really need it? Probably not. Uh, the other questions we had, do 4K TVs, will they support HD? Yes, they do. They do something called upsampling, which means it has a computer inside of it with an algorithm that says, it tries to guess, well, where should I put this pixel to make it look like it's a native 4K display? And most of them do a pretty good job at doing that. And uh, they just kind of multiply the uh, the pixels for the HD and turn it into a 4K display. Will you get that kind of quality? Probably not, but... Uh, it'll be something close and it'll be something de decent. And if you're sitting more than, um, I'd say six feet away, you're probably not going to know the difference anyway. Um, suitable for gaming, suitable for movies. As far as 4K content, Netflix has already rolled some stuff out. You may have to upgrade your subscription to get the 4K content, like things like House of Cards and uh, some of their original programmings in 4K. I understand Breaking Bad, too, is released in 4K, too, if you haven't seen that series. Very, very highly recommended. Very cool series if you haven't watched that. Some of the Samsung TVs have some wireless Bluetooth technology to hook up to wireless surround sound systems, which is very nice. I believe Sony and LG has their own make of that, too. And because the speakers on these things are fairly paltry, you're trying to get all this information or all this, not information, but the, the equipment inside these very, very thin panels. And there's not a lot of room to put a big magnet and magnets. The size of the magnet is what drives a louder, more rich sound. So you're really going to need a sound bar and maybe an external system. And some of these Samsungs, which really nice, has a sound bar with a wireless bass speaker. And since bass is not directional, you can pretty much put it anywhere in your room, behind a couch, hide it somewhere, any place that's got an outlet. Yes, it is wireless in terms of running speaker cords, but you still need power to it, and you'll need to plug it in somewhere. But those are uh, fortunately ubiquitous in everybody's modern home. So get with, get yourself with a 4K TV if you can do it, and uh, make sure it's smart. And uh, shop around. Go look at them yourself so you can tell the difference in the color and see if that super ultra or that quantum dot technology makes a difference for you and uh remember that when you're seeing them in the store they do provide 4k optimized content that makes these tvs look the best they can will you see the same thing on your tvs at home probably not but either way it'll give you an indication of what these tvs are capable of later on down the line please leave your notes and comments below like and subscribe and uh keep track of our stuff we got a lot more tech reviews and all kinds of different arenas coming up. My name is Chuck Fresh from Computer Care Clinic, and this is your tip of the day.